Hi guys, welcome to our channel Math for Data Science. My name is Nizar Al Tunji, and I'm going to help you uh, with probabilities and statistics. We have a Facebook group. It's named uh, Math for Data Science, Python, R, SQL, and so on. It's a long name. Uh, you can check it out, and you can get the link of this group. Um, this is my first video. So, my name is Nizar Al Tunji. Uh, I'm a master's degree student in uh, mathematical statistics and programming. Um, thinking about to make some clips to teach you guys uh, some stuff about probability theory and statistical inference and how to do data analysis and so on. Most of the videos will be for students who want to revise some main ideas and for non-background students, people, students who don't have any background about math or statistics. And we can talk about other topics uh, in the field of math and statistics if you want to. You can comment anything you want to, uh, to be discussed in a clip. Or you can search the channel to find if there's other tutors who talked about something you want to learn about. This video is going to be about probability distributions. Now, what is a probability distribution? Uh, a probability distribution is a function with, which gives you the probability of occurring a value like if you have a random variable we'll revise some random variables idea in a couple of minutes if you have a random variable and you want to know what is the probability that this variable will get the value of blah blah I don't know for example for value 3 you can calculate this probability so, uh, in uh, sorry for uh, each uh, probability distribution, there is a density function or a probability mass function for discrete probability distribution. We will talk about it. And there is a cumulative probability function, as you see here. Density function we denote it as f, and let me change the color as f cumulative probability function or we can uh, call it a distribution function capital F it's the same it gives you the probability that the variable will get value equals or and less than or equal and greater than or just greater less and so on we'll have some examples at the end of the uh, second, second clip to learn about these uh, ideas. For each distribution, there is a characteristics. Uh, for example, like the uh, expectation, the variance, the mode, the median, the moment generating function. There's a lot of characteristics we can talk about. There's a lot of applications, a lot of ideas in distribution, but we don't usually use much of them usually the most uh, application we always uh, use the expectation the mean the mean it's a it's meter for the expectation uh, and the variance and so on before we start about the probability distribution let's revise some ideas for people who don't uh, uh, familiar with these ideas experiment and random variable like what is the experiment you know it's experiment is when you try something so most of the applications of life you can uh, call them an experiment rolling a, a die um, throwing a coin um playing cards poker so on uh, and each experiment you can represent it with the random variable, a random variable which represents, for example, the number of 
heads that you're going to get by flipping a coin. Uh, how many sex you're going to have when you throw uh, a die three times, and so on. So, we have two types of random variables a discrete and continuous. Uh, simple simple difference um, discrete random variable which takes uh, discrete values like 1, 2, 3, 0, 10 and so on continuous you know um, for example if the x random variable is a continuous and takes values between 0 and 10 he may take a value of 5.4, 3.19, so on. And therefore, there is two kind of probability distributions. There is a discrete distributions and continuous. Uh, there is a lot of distributions in life. For most of the applications, you can get a distribution. But there are some common distributions, like those most. Uh, Occur or uh, those uh, distributions that we most used in live applications, like I think you heard a lot of uh, about binomial, exponential, 2k lambda, Poisson, normal, and so on. Uh, an example of uh, continuous distribution: there is a normal and exponential uh, discrete. There is binomial and binomial. And Poisson also. Now let's talk about binomial distribution. If we have a random variable, is binomially distributed, or we can say it follows the binomial distribution. There should have uh, two parameters n and p. N represent the number of trials. How many times you are repeating this uh, uh, experiment? Like you're rolling the die two times, so n equals two. And p is the simple probability of uh, occurring an event. Like um, rolling a die, p sh if you if you have a fair die, so p should be one divided by six which is the probability that and one of the faces will occur the face one or two or six or for example if you're flipping a coin so it should be a, a fair coin like uh, it should be uh, uh, 0.5 because you have you only have two he uh, faces heads and tails so it should be a half 0.5 of course, there is other application when uh, the p is not uh, 0.5 or 1 divided by 6. Of course, there are other examples when, for example, if you are flipping uh, a coin but you don't want to put the p is uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, for example. Um, the probability mass fun function for the binomial distribution is as you see here in the equation probability that the run a random variable x will get the value of k the expectation of each variable is binomially disputed is the n times b and the variance is n times b times 1 minus p or we can say q if you don't know this as q so npq um normal distribution a normal distribution should have uh, if a variable is uh, normally disputed to have two parameters mu and sigma square mu is the uh, expectation and sigma square is the variance the density function it's presented here. Um, the expectation is this parameter mu and the variance is sigma square. 
for for uh, students who not doesn't have a background about uh, math and probabilities and so on statistics don't be afraid uh, these ideas that I'm talking about there is a, there will be another clip uh, with examples so don't be afraid uh, these are easy ideas you can understand it i'm sure so don't be afraid about these long equations and so on you'll uh, see how we work with these uh, equations well for honestly we don't work with them a lot because most of the time we use softwares uh, another idea about the normal distribution we should talk about the score like for example if i have an x is the normally distributed function with two parameters mu and uh, sigma square I can make another uh, variable and it's going to be normally distributed with two parameters 0 and 1 the expectation is 0 and the variance is 1 and we call this distribution is a standard normal distribution uh the expectation will be zero and the variance should be one as we said a density function is the same as the old one but you can notice that we assign the mu as zero and sigma is one so we cancel these uh, uh, letters <coughs> and we have here a new density function but it's the same as the old one but uh, uh, simpler Sorry. Now let's talk about Poisson distribution. I have a, an x random variable follows a Poisson distribution. A Poisson distribution should have one uh, parameter, which is lambda. Lambda represents the number of uh, occurring for example a fail in uh, a product per time or per space like for example per one hour or in this uh, uh, production line the probability function for x as you see here if I want to calculate the probability that the random variable x equals k you can use this uh, equation the expectation for an, a random variable is uh, Poissonly distributed is lambda and the variance is also lambda so as you see if you want to calculate the expectation or variance for a random variable it uh, follows the normal Poisson or polynomial uh, distribution it won't be hard and if you want to calculate the uh, probability function or uh, cumulative probability function for uh, for example x equals a value or less greater than so on most of the time we, we use the uh, software but it's not hard to calculate it by hand uh, this clip is over we're going to uh, finish right now there is another clip that continues about these ideas and show you the uh, relationship between these three uh, distributions and we will talk about simple examples and then we're going to move to uh, apply the ideas that we've learned in R so I suggest you guys to watch the other video and happy learning bye bye